three dimensional geometry let's solve this question the figure below shows a rectangular based pyramid a b c d v in which a b is equals to three b c v a is equals to v c is equals to v b is equals to v d is equals to 15 centimeters and v o is equals to 14 centimeters so we have the figure there calculate one decimal place a the length of b c b the angle between v c and the base a b c d so that's the second question the angle between v c and the base a b c d so you can see it there then we have uh, part c the angle between a b v and the base a b c d a b v the angle between a b v and the base a b c d then the last one is uh, the acute angle between the planes a c v and bdv the acute angle between acv and um, bdv so those are the questions let's go straight to the first part and um, as you can see in the diagram we have a b is equals to 3 bc so that is why you can see b bc is x then a b is 3 times bc that is 3x then the perpendicular height we can indicate that perpendicular height here is uh, 14 and uh, vc is equals to v is equals to vb so all these are this one is a right uh, pyramid so all these are uh, measurements are 15 slant is are 15 so with that information it is possible to calculate the length of bc let's calculate the length of bc uh to calculate that length uh the first thing you need to understand is that this one is a rectangular based pyramid in which uh, the base is a rectangle cause and you know that all these angles therefore because this one is a rectangle should be 90 degrees all these angles are right angles for us to get bc we shall require to consider triangle abc this is a triangle that is going to assist us to get that so we require this uh, length a c in order to complete this triangle a b c now when you look at that triangle uh, it is not possible to get bc without having ac so we will be required to get ac how do you get ac uh, it will be very easy to get ac there's a triangle that will help us to get AC and we'll get it. Uh, one thing that will help us is AO. AO will help us because AO, AO, AO is equivalent to OC. So the moment we get AO, uh, it is the same as OC. So you just need to multiply that on by two. Mm -hmm. So let's consider this triangle. We shall extract a triangle here and uh, the triangle is here. So let's extract this triangle VAO, VAO triangle vao i want to extract it here vao so v this is o this is a this will help me calculate ao which in turn will help me get ac since ao is equivalent to oc so this height here is perpendicular to the base so we have 90 degrees then we form a right angle triangle vo is uh, 14 and uh, va is 15 so using Pythagoras theorem, we'll be able to get AO. So AO, AO using Pythagoras theorem, we'll work it like this, 15 squared minus 14 squared. We get the square root of that. And when you work out this using a calculator, you will get 5.385. AO is 5.385. Also, OC is the same measurement. So therefore, OC will be given by 5.385 multiply by 2. Why by 2? Because now the entire length from... No, no, not OC. This is AC. AC would be 5.385 multiply by 2. The entire length, AC. And when you multiply this, you get a 10... 0.77 centimeters so that is the length of ac now having ac we can now consider triangle abc and calculate x so let me proceed so now on to extract uh, triangle abc and as you can see triangle abc is a right angle at uh, b so this is what you have so it is a right angle there so we have b there and we have c here we have a here so bc is x uh, ab is 3x and uh, AC is what you just calculated and obtains 10.77. Now using Pythagoras theorem, uh, we want to get uh, X. So using Pythagoras theorem, says that we have 3X. We square that plus X squared. This one will give the hypotenuse squared. So 3X squared is uh, 9X squared. This is a plus X squared is equals to 
10.77 squared and 10.77 squared you can just calculate this one very fast this will give 115.9929 so 9x squared plus x squared will give uh, 10x squared is equals to 115.992 nine now let's proceed and get x so x will be obtained by first of all you have to divide both sides by 10 so you have 115.9929 we divide both sides by 10 then to get x you have to get the square root of that so using a calculator you will get this one is uh, 3.4 so 3.4 centimeters part b of the question uh, the angle between vc and the base abcd the angle between that is the angle between the line vc and the plane abcd so i will clear this diagram that you can see that uh, line and the plane so this is what you want to get it is the angle between the line vc so the line vc is here and the plane that is the base we have the base here is the base a b c d so to get the angle between a line and the plane we do get the angle between the projection of that line to the plane and the line itself i repeat that to get the angle between a line and the plane we get the angle between that line and in this case the line is vc and its projection on that plane so we need to get the projection of vc on the base abcd so the projection of vc will be or the shadow the projection is the shadow shadow of vc will be vo so vo is here so that is the projection and as you can see we are now required to get the angle between that line which is vc and its projection that is a vo a co the projection is co so here is the projection here is the line so the angle between is here so this is the angle that you required to get so as you can see you can you notice that um it forms a right angle triangle and that uh, right angle triangle is this one which you're going to extract so triangle v o c v o c triangle v o c so we just need to extract that let us extract that uh, triangle v o c so that is a v that is o that is c so the required angle is this so we have v o v o is a uh, 14 uh, from the diagram v o is 14 v o is 14 and v c is uh, 15 this is remember the slant size are 15 so this is uh, 15 so using given those two we can get uh, we can use trig ratios trigonometric ratios to get that angle so and the one that is going to be suitable here will be sine so sine of angle theta will be given by opposite which is 14 divided by the hypotenuse and um, to get theta this angle theta you just get the sine inverse of both sides so to be the sine inverse of uh, 14 divided by 15 and this one we are supposed to give the answer correct to one decimal place this will give um, 68.96 when you round off to correct one decimal place you get 69.0 degrees so that is uh, the second part let's go to the third part that is part c the angle between abv and abcd the angle between abv and abcd so you go to the diagram and i'm going to clear these so that you can see those planes so the angle between the planes abv so we have a b v and a b c d a b c d so to get the angle between two planes we will take each plane at a time let's take a plane a b v and to get the angle between the two planes we will start by drawing a perpendicular to the line of intersection of the two planes the line of intersection of the two planes is this this is the line of intersection a b is the line of intersection of the two planes so we draw a perpendicular from v to that line of intersection a perpendicular that is in the first plane then in the second plane we do the same we do the same we draw perpendicular from say this point here this uh, point we draw like that that is another perpendicular now in the plane abcd to the line of intersection and 
when you look at the two lines where the two lines are intersecting this is perpendicular the perpendicular that you've drawn on plane abv perpendicular to the line of intersection and the other perpendicular the other plane they are meeting at this point and this is where the angle that is required you're going to get this angle this is the required angle so this is the required angle the angle between the two perpendiculars that you've drawn to those planes and the perpendiculars are drawn to the line of intersection between the two planes which is line ab now to get that angle we we'll simply be required to just uh, construct a right angle triangle here uh, using the height you can see we have a right angle triangle and this triangle i uh, will call this uh, point here uh, i'll name this one as n so there is this triangle that i want you to observe v n o so we extract that v n o and extract that v n o so this is a v v this is o then this one is n so the required angle is this angle that is here so v o we have v o v o is uh, the height of the pyramid which is given as 14 v o is 14 that is 14 then n o we can get n o uh, n o n o so here is n o n o is here now having this eh, having b c b c is uh, 3.4 and uh, n o as you can see n o is halfway of that line just halfway of that line and to the center that will be half of uh, 3.4 and that will be 1.7 that will be 1.7 so you just think of that 1.7 so this one will be 1.7 now getting this angle is quite easy now you just use the uh, trigonometric ratios and when you look at what you're given and the angle you just use a uh, tangent tangent will work very well so tangent angle theta is equals to opposite over adjacent so therefore theta is going to be obtained by get the time the tan inverse of both sides when you get the tan inverse of um, 14 divided by 1.7 the tan inverse of that this will give um, get the tan inverse of that this will give 83.1 degrees so that is how you get the angle between those two planes part d of the question acute angle between planes acv and bdv the acute angle between the planes acv and bdv so let's go straight to the diagram and identify the planes so clear these indicate the two planes so this is the angle between planes acv so acv is here this is ac ac no so that in red is a plane acv then we need to indicate the other plane the other plane is a bdv bdv so bdv is here bd so those are the two planes so one plane is in red that is a plane acv and the other one is bdv so i can look at those two planes you notice that they are meeting at right angles they are perpendicular the planes are perpendicular to one another so when you look at it at first you will notice that the angle between them is uh, definitely 90 degrees but the question is specific it is the acute angle between the two planes that is plane acv and plane bdv which angle is that when you look at this uh, diagram keenly uh, when you look at this diagram very carefully and very keenly you notice that the required angle is here this is the acute angle between the planes acv and plane bdv and to get that angle we will need to extract uh, this uh, triangle here triangle b o c triangle b o c so this is um, o then you have b we have c b o is equivalent to o c b o is equivalent to o c so this one forms an isosceles triangle when you look at this diagram it is not done to scale so you may see a sieve uh, b o is not equivalent to o c but through calculation through calculation using the measurements that you got <coughs> remember you got uh, x's x was 3.4 that is bc this was 3.4 and um, now the other one 3x ab ab will be 3.4 times 3 this is uh this will be 10.2 so this is 10.2 so through calculation you'll notice that bo is equivalent to oc so we can indicate uh and to, for us to get this angle that is here on the center we can drop a perpendicular bisector from o to base so that we have uh, 1.7 here 1.7 since bc is 3.4 and we can use uh, that one angle we can just when you get one angle you just need to multiply by two to get the entire angle that is the angle boc so do we have um, 
so what i've drawn is here this is the line that i've dropped here and uh this is uh, 90 degrees let me call this a uh, point uh m so m is here so om it is possible to get om om goes halfway so you can see from b to a is 10.2 since uh it is three times bc bc is 3.4 so mo will be it just goes up to the middle so it will be a half of a b so a half of 10.2 will be 5.1 so om is 5.1 so using those uh two we can definitely get the the angle between the plane so we just need to use a pythagorean no pythagorean but trigonometric ratios will work here and um, positive of adjacent tangent will work tangent would work so tangent of alpha i'm using this uh, angle here i'm using that angle so tangent of alpha so tangent of alpha is equals to opposite of adjacent the opposite side is uh, 1.7 adjacent is 5.1 1.7 and 5.1 so let me get this angle and then don't forget that when you get that angle you have to multiply it by 2 so alpha will be given by when you get the tan inverse of both sides you get alpha or alpha will be uh, given by the tan inverse of 1.7 divided by 5.1 like that sorry for this that and uh, since you have to multiply this angle by 2 because alpha let me take you to the diagram alpha we just give us this portion and these are one half of the triangle this alpha so we have to add the other one there we have to add this as well so that is why we're multiplying by two to get the whole of that angle so this one will give tan inverse of 1.7 point 1.7 divided by 5.1 this one will give that and when you multiply the whole thing by two you'll get that is 6.86 degrees uh to one decimal place you get that is 6.9 degrees when you work out everything here and you multiply by two and that is how you get the angle uh, the acute angle between the two planes